Namaste. Welcome to Bodhistan. We are going to discuss about the Sikra. The name Sikra itself comes from India. The original name is be Sikari or Sikara, which means a hunter. Like falcons and cormorants, they would be trained for hunting other birds. Good teen, it's not a common practice anymore because hunting is not a good teen, especially to make a, a wild bird to do things what man wants. In other names, they're also called Chipak or Chipka based on the sound. The Sikra has short wings which are rounded and a narrow long tail. So it's very simple to describe it as the whitest underparts. I mean, it's white belly and vent. And Rufus bars, as it has, means the, it has got bars on it, which are Rufus in color. Orange or brownish like color Rufus is and gray upper part so means since the wings and the rump area is grey. The lower belly of the sikra has has fewer bars means not as many rufous bars as the upper belly and the vent and the thighs of the sikra are white ish and long. The iris of a male sikra tends to be red while a female sikra's iris is yellow as orange. So you can Differentiate who is a male and who is a female just with their eye color easily since they are almost the same. The female sikra has brownish upper parts, so it means the wings are brownish instead of grey and has has bars on the underparts. Many many bars. More than the male is lesser. So the female sikra is larger than the male as it is seen in the family of Asipatridae, which this belongs. Most birds of the genus Asipta, the, the Sikra, they, it is known that the female is always larger than the male no matter what. Seen in most birds of prey, usually 25 to 30% difference in size. So, the mesial stripe of the throat is small and dark. The Sikra when it is flying from below, you may see light under wing coverts with black wing tips. If you see a male flying from above at that, you can see that it has tail bands with faint marks on the lateral tail feathers. The male sicker central tail feathers means the middle of the tail have a dark band. So big black band and the juvenile sikra has dark streaks and spots and upper breast so dark streaks and spots and upper breast while the wings have small bars in is now so the tail of the juvenile sikra has small dark bands so it must be a lot for you to digest but for sure they are uh, got such intricate patterns and details on them isn't it fun to identify what's a juvenile female and a male. Hmm. What are the sounds of the sikra? A sikra makes a peevy sound. Very unusual for a scary bird of prey. Everyone uh, thinks that the bird of prey is the eagle always. And the eagle is supposed to be majestic and strong and fierce, not saying peevy. I mean, it's 26 to 30 centimeters, so then it just weighs 124 grams and makes a peevy sound. First note is high while the second note is longer. So it's something like P V. And so the sikra also makes a sort and sound kick key kick key in flight. Normally the sounds of the sikra are mimicked by a black drongo. So a black drongo mimics these sounds because it's there's many birds get alarmed by the sound of a sikra because the sikra mainly attacks birds. Crows also. Most people think that crows are never targeted, they are targeted. It's broken the the rules of the forest do not attack scavengers. So it is scary for most birds. Where is the sikra found? And where does it live? The, the sikra is one subspecies which is found in so many parts of Indian Sapon. In the Asipta, Badius, the Sumairi is resident to Indian subcontinent. They live in plains, lower hills, forests, farmlands, and urban areas. They are known to be 1400 meters above sea level in the Himalayas. Is, that is actually not a high 
altitude from the sea level because many birds of prey tend to live higher like the golden eagle in Himalaya so you can also have a good chance finding them in the Himalayas also so it's basically found almost everywhere including urban areas this is the most common bird of prey of India isn't it it's scary indeed for local birds what does the sikra eat it eats rodents like the fire hamster in other words, called Mirionis huviane of Rajasthan, they eat squirrels, small birds, lizards, snakes, insects. Many birds dive to forest to avoid the sikra. Kingfishes also dive in water to avoid the sikra. Babblers more but attack a sikra. It will also come to the ground to eat wing turbines. Giant at dusk for bats like the Sinopterus phoenix. They also scavenge and eat carrion like crows. Drongos tend to mimic them too, as I said. Drongos normally mimic because they also want to find food. They often do it to common miners. Common miners, when they're foraging, they tend to drop insects if a sickness sound is heard. So they do the same. So another bird tries to take advantage of the sickness diet because a common miner is on the diet of the sickness. How does the sikra bathe and how does it breed and nest? The sikra lives alone or in pairs. They fly with flaps and glides, so basically sometimes flapping and sometimes gliding, somewhat like that of an owl. They sometimes flap, they sometimes glide. The adults pair of the sikra will glide over thermals to patija during breeding season. When they are in flight, they tend to alarm small birds and squirrels. So what may look like a normal flight is actually a big alarm. They breed in March to June in India. The nest is a platform lined with grass. Both of them build a nest, male and female. They use twigs and metal wires. Metal wires are used because they are available easily. Let's say a hanger. Yes, people must be thinking why hangers mysteriously disappear, metal ones especially, because they've been taken by the sikra or the crow. The female lays three to four eggs mainly and can lay even more if the eggs are lost. A replacement clutch is always available. The eggs are pale bluish grey, stippled on the broad end in black. It's a very funny color and combination. It may must be hard for anyone to understand. Stippled on the broad end in black means the uh, down half, the more broad part, uh, pointy side up. So it's stippled on the broad end in black. Eggs incubated by the female mainly for 18 to 21 days. Hmm, so that is it about the nesting and the breeding. The fledging in is unknown and the maturity, but for sure we do know that they take metal wires. What is the population of the sikra? Currently, the sikra does not have any threats. It used to be used for falconry, which used to explore the life cycle, and certain individuals would not make a nest to produce eggs. So, that's not a threat. It was a historical thing. Nowadays, no one wants a falcon in the home. That's expensive. So, currently, the population is 5 lakh to 10 lakh. Not low, really. It's common, in fact. 5 lakh to 10 lakh may seem a very small number. But in bird terms, it's a very big number. In human terms, it's small for sure. So they are least concerned. They do not need conservation.